my question for you tonight real quick. My question for you tonight real quick. Let me just read a scripture to you so you can catch it. James 3, 5 say, in the same way that the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speech, but, it's like a, but, a, but a tiny spark that can set off a forest fire. You with me? And then uh, Proverbs 18, 21, it says, the tongue can bring life and death. Those that love to talk reap their consequences. You with me? Now, uh, James, James, 1, 9, James 1, 9, verse 19 says, understand this, my dear brothers and sisters, be quick to listen, be slow to speak, and be slow to get angry. I want to talk to you tonight. Tonight, I want to talk. I read the three scriptures to you. Be slow to, to talk. Sometimes we, 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 as believers, when we're going through a trial, we're going through a situation, we quick to shoot from the hips. And instead of shooting the devil, we shoot ourselves. We end up shooting ourselves. We, I just, my question to you tonight is real simple. Who owns your tongue? Who owns your mouth? Who owns your words? Either God or the devil owns your mouth, your tongue, and your words. Who has ownership? Who has legal rights over your tongue, your mouth, and your words? Sometimes we talk about the devil this, the devil that. Yes, the devil come attack, but the worst enemy is your mouth. Because whatever you speak into the atmosphere, whatever you say into the atmosphere, the devil got legal rights over your words. And we speak ourselves into situations and circumstances that the devil, the devil incarcerates you spiritually because of the words that you speak. So either death or life, either salt or fresh water comes out of your mouth. What's coming out of your mouth? What's coming out of your mouth? 